Secret 17, Ravel's Deafness and Chloe with a little help. Now this excerpt in the clarinet repertoire is one of the most difficult to play. It's very noty and there are a few pentatonic scale passages that you play some with no alterations or no flats or sharps and some with many flats. One passage in the excerpt does not contain any flats or sharp and falls very well in the fingers. Later on, unfortunately, there's an excerpt that contains many flats and is quite difficult to play. One of the reasons this excerpt is difficult is that you need to press on the D flat constantly. So there are a few ways you can practice it to make things easier. One way is to simply keep the D flat key down while you play the entire excerpt. Unfortunately, keeping the key down for the entire excerpt can add tension to your fingers. I suggest putting an object underneath this key right here so that the object will actually press on the key for you. One object that you can insert easily is a nickel. It's just the right size and thickness. Now you insert this nickel and you go up, you slide it up like this until you feel that it's nice and secure and that your D flat key is pressed down. Now you can practice the excerpt without putting your finger on this key. It was interesting for me to play this excerpt because I didn't have any tension in my left little finger thanks to the object underneath the key. Now, of course, this is only an exercise, and you will play this excerpt in orchestra without the object underneath the key. I do suggest playing the entire excerpt with the little finger key always pressed down, however. Now, say you're out of money at that time, and you need something to put underneath your key. You could use a reed. You can insert your reed, the bark side down, and slide it up your key until it is very secure. And there you have it. Secret 17, Ravel's Deafness and Chloe with a little help.